Carrie here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing great today. So today I have a new house that's gonna be part of my save file and this one is actually in Del Sol Valley. So I decided to build a mid-century modern house because it's been a while since the last time that I did something like this and this is actually one of my favorite styles ever. <laughs> so I was really excited to build this house. I found some inspiration on Pinterest. I changed it quite a lot <laughs> and I ended up with this house that you will see here that is two bedrooms one bathroom it has a lot of space because the lots in uh, Del Sol Valley are really big and I wanted to have like this regular size house in here so I used some fences and added some different stuff so the terrain looks like smaller like the lot looks smaller but it's still like a 40 by 30 or something like that I'm not so sure but I know that the lots are really big in this world and I wish we had some smaller lots in here because mid-century modern houses are not that big at least from what I've seen I don't think I could build a mid-century modern house that uh, could actually fully um, use all the space in a 40 by 30 lot but anyways I did this with the with these tiles I used them to create like a path and also this like here I don't know why I added them they look like um, I don't know <laughs> it's it's kind of an interesting design but I decided that it would help to make the the lot look smaller but yeah we're in the interior now and you can see already a lot of colors in here I am when I say colors I mean a lot of patterns <laughs> not colors I, I mean the color scheme is pretty much what you see here it's kind of a new color scheme for me using blues and purples and dark wood tones uh, I don't usually go for this kind of color schemes, but for some reason in this house it just made sense and I loved it. So that's why I decided to go with this color scheme. There's a lot of pink in here and blues and purples and also dark wood tones, so quite interesting. And everything was based on the wallpaper from um, the Decor to the Max kit that you can see here. I used it in here in the living room, I mean this is the dining area. and. Um, I just decided to go with that color scheme so everything is based on that wallpaper in particular that I hadn't used until this day when I built this house uh, this is the first time that I used this uh, this color scheme I mean not this color scheme what am I saying this pattern <laughs> this wallpaper I, I hadn't used it before and yeah we're in the living room now you can see that my idea in here was basically that we had this kind of old-fashioned house because it's a mid-century modern house so it's not new but it's kind of been um, updated probably so some of the appliances may look um, newer than the other ones and this style I tried to mix some modern and mid-century at the same time so that's why some of the things look more modern than the other ones for example I never use these wall um, lamps and now I decided to use them because that's something that comes with the style and I think everything makes sense I think everything matches but of course I did it so um, I, I cannot um, make an opinion on that but you can do it so please let me know in the comment section down below if you like what I've done so far in this house and if you like the color scheme and everything because um, maybe I'm gonna start working more often with this kind of uh, color scheme and yeah I've been wanting to build a mid-century modern house for a while now actually since we got the decor to the max kit I wanted to build a mid-century modern house and of course with everything that's going on in my life uh, right now I just hadn't had the inspiration but now I did and I decided to go for it and just I'm, I'm really proud of this build and you will see that it's not something that I usually do I mean some things are really different from my usual um, style and I think that um, that, that it's cool <laughs> that it's cool that I do something different for a while and I don't know I'm really proud of this build of course mid-century modern as I said is my favorite style ever and then um, we have the modern one and and then the rest but for some reason it's not easy for me to build a mid-century modern house so that's why every time that I do it I just enjoy it to the max and I love every single moment of this process because 
it's I try always I try to decor, decorate these kind of houses in a way that I would like to have my own house someday in the future so yeah I think if I ever get to have my own house I'm gonna use a lot of colors in it <laughs> right now in my in my apartment I do have a lot of colors and everything and, and that's something that I do really like but um, the style is just not exactly the same as what I want so yeah I just I just like to dream <laughs> about one day having my own house and it looks like something like this <laughs> it, it's not a style that you see here in Chile but or at least I haven't seen it but I would really like to have something like this <laughs> And yeah, as I said, this house is part of my save file, but it doesn't have any um, households living in here. So it's one of the empty houses, but it's fully furnished and everything because I only um, keep unfurnished the starter homes. So when you want to move your sims into the new house, they just have some money to buy their own stuff and decorate it the way you want. And I think that's realistic and that's why I decided to go with that for my starter homes and speaking about that now that we're in the uh, kids room maybe this is for a teen i thought it would be for a teen more than a kid but now that we're talking about the starter homes that i've done that of course i don't show you in the videos uh, on youtube because um i don't furnish them so they would be like really short videos but there's this one in particular in Oasis Springs that I uploaded to the gallery that I did a video about on, on that house. I don't know how to say it, but there's a video on my Instagram where you can see how, how this house looks and I do really like it. I've been having some fun doing these short videos for Instagram since it's been taking for me um, longer to have these videos ready on YouTube. So I thought it would be a good way to keep myself active on Instagram. Of course, um, I don't do them very often and maybe I will do it with, um, with the sneak peeks of the builds that I'm currently working on. And also I'm gonna be showing the starter homes and things like that, that uh, you don't see on YouTube and you only see if you follow me on on the gallery and and you can see when i upload stuff like that i i don't do any um i don't i don't say that i posted them like that i uploaded them to the gallery so if you follow me there you can see when i upload these starter homes that in my opinion they're they're looking really good <laughs> um i don't like to do starter homes in general because budget and stuff it just I don't know it's not my favorite kind of build to do but i do have to do them for the save file and i think it's realistic to have some starter homes for um once in a while just because none of us not all of us <laughs> like to play the game with cheats and play it like cheating in terms of money and getting more money using mother load and stuff like that so if you like to play like Rex to riches and stuff like that you can just download those starter homes and then you can decorate them the way you want and you can tag me on social media if you want uh, to see if you want me to see how those houses look uh, I think that would be something cool to do but yeah we finished the interior of the house we're now in the front yard and I do have to say I don't show you exactly what I do here you just will see the start of how it ends up looking but you saw it on the cinematics at the beginning of the video how the front looks but I just forgot to record it and then uh, yeah it took me forever actually to do these um, uh, plant things like the corners and everything to these plant areas I don't know how to say that I mean it's been a while since I spoke in English so uh, forgive me if I forget how to say some stuff <laughs> but yeah this when I was doing this part I actually forgot that those were doors instead of windows in the in the dining room so first I just put a lot of plants in there and then I decided to uh, delete those plants because actually that was um, a door <laughs> so yeah you saw how i put the trash can actually like the uh, dumpster in there i thought it would be cool to have it like in an angle in there because there's a curve in there in the street and i thought it would be interesting to have it like that but yeah you can see here how the front ends up looking but as i said 
uh, it's not the finished version. But now we're in the backyard and the backyard actually was easier for me to do than the front yard and that's not something that happens usually to me. Like I always have these big backyards that I don't know how to um, how to decorate because there's just a lot of space and I don't usually know what to do in there because every time that I've lived in a house I actually had like this tiny backyard and you didn't have that much space to do stuff so I I don't know how to decorate backyards <laughs> so that's why most of my backyards look pretty much the same but here I had to add a pool because I think it's necessary in this kind of houses I would have loved it to be rounded but we cannot do rounded pools in here and as I have been obsessed with Planet Zoo lately I just wish we had the the building tools that that game has. I mean, you can rotate every single item, you can do rounded stuff, you can do big things like, I don't know, skyscrapers and things like that. And you can play with the terrain more easily than in here. And they have this kind of tool mod version in the game that comes with the game. So that's, that's the building tool that I said that you can just rotate everything, you don't need to calculate like the degrees and stuff, you just rotate it the way you want and I think that's so cool and it has helped me a lot to improve my building skills in The Sims even though they're more, um, I don't know how to say, it, uh, rustic I would say but that's not the word that I'm looking for but they're simpler than the ones in Planet Zoo <laughs> And for that reason, I, I just haven't felt really inspired to build in The Sims lately, but I when I do feel inspired, I build this kind of houses. <laughs> so yeah, I wish we had rounded pools in here because I think a rounded pool would have looked way better than a square one in these kind of houses. But I didn't feel like doing all these tricks where you can do like uh, wood planks and create like a circle and stuff like that. It just... I didn't have the time and I didn't have the energy to do it so that's why I decided to go with this uh, square pool but yeah I added a lot of plants and they have these hanging cloth thingy here so I added I actually added a washing machine inside and I, I added the humper and stuff but I forgot because I did it off cam because when I added the clothing line in there I just didn't remember that I didn't add um, a <laughs> washing machine. But yeah, we're in the end of the video now, so I hope you guys like it. If you did, please remember to like this video, also comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And also follow me on social media, the links are all in the description down below. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Enjoy the screenshots. Goodbye!